Rainbow Six Siege has a very loyal and active fan base, but with loyalty does come a lot of criticism, and by far the largest criticism that I see, whether it be on Twitter, YouTube, or Reddit, is a lot of people talking about the toxicity that is the Rainbow Six Siege community. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about what is this toxicity people are talking about, is there anything we can really do to combat it, and is this community even as toxic as people say, or is it pretty much on par with any other community that exists in gaming. So let's jump right into this. Now, people who I've seen at least comment on my videos and even in the subreddit, um, not everyone gives an example of how toxic this community is. They'll just say, this community is extremely toxic, you know, why do people still like it? Or like, I love this game, but the community is so toxic, which I've seen a lot of comments like that. But I've definitely also seen a few that are talking about an actual problem that can relate to the toxicity. So they're giving evidence to support their argument, which I do appreciate. So I've read this on a few of my videos where people are saying, especially on that year three season pass video where people were saying well i love the community but i you know it's so toxic i can't wait to you know get these operators join into a game and get team killed because i took an operator that they wanted they're again they're specifically talking about when new operators drop which that's a problem i've seen in the past but not as much recently and these are all subjective opinions. These are my experiences. They may be different than yours. You may get into a lobby where you get team killed every single round by a different person. Me, personally, I don't see that too often. You may get into a game where it just seems like someone's always getting voted to kick if you're playing casual. Again, me, I don't really see that too much. I see it more with the vote to kick as opposed to the team killing. But again, this is what we're discussing here. So in my experience, as the community has grown a little bit older, we've had time to come accustomed to the game, I have not seen team killing happen as much unless someone's being an asshole. I personally don't partake in team killing unless I'm playing with a full squad of my friends and we're basically just messing around. The only time I'll team kill someone is if I notice that they deliberately kill our teammate for something else. And again, that's only in casual. I never team kill in ranked unless by accident. So, team killing, not a major problem that I'm seeing, but it's a problem to the rest of the game, and I've for sure seen it firsthand and with other people's videos, so what can we really do to combat the team killing that is running rampant in this game? Well, a lot of people are just calling for harsher penalties. You get booted after two or three team kills, well, they want it to be, like, almost immediately, or after two team kills, you're banned, but it's not just for 15 minutes. You're banned for a lot longer. You get harsher penalties, and that's something I can really get behind, but I think if you're going to implement, implement harsher penalties for team killing, I think you should implement also something that will help combat that if you accidentally team kill there's been a couple games i've gotten ejected from when i first started playing rainbow six because i was team killing and it wasn't intentional they were just walking in front of my bullets or my aim was just that bad and i would accidentally kill them and i would get booted i think halo 3 was the game that had the betrayal system if you had gotten killed this many times by this certain player they would get ejected from the game, but it would pop up on your screen saying that they betrayed you X amount of times. Do you want to forgive them? I think that's a system that we can have implemented in the Rainbow Six Siege that would work fabulously. If you know that it's a mistake and they're, if they accidentally killed you once and they messaged you saying, oh, dude, sorry about that. You know, aim was bad. You walked in front of me, this or that. That would definitely kind of tone that down a bit. People won't get booted just for no reason. Yes, there will always be people to abuse the system. But that would definitely help if you could just, you know, you accidentally killed someone a couple times and maybe the, this final time comes around. You're about to get booted, but it will pop up on their screen saying, hey, um, do you, you know, do you want to forgive this player? They won't get booted if, if you forgive them this time. But if, you know, if they do it again, you know, the, the option will pop up once more. I think that's a very good system that should definitely be implemented. But moving off of team killing and kind of just going on to the toxicity of teabagging or letting someone bleed out. That's something I've seen a lot of, even seen it today, getting footage just to kind of edit in this video. You know, someone gets put into a frost trap, so they're in the down but not out stage, and it's a 1v1, the objective is contested, and that person that's in a frost trap is also in the OBJ. So... The round's over, essentially. You know, the guy who's on defense is alive. The other person's in a frost trap. They're going to bleed out or die. 
are you going to shoot them or are you just going to let them bleed out and just kind of teabag all around them, shoot around them, and just keep doing that? I've seen that plenty of times. Like I said, I've seen that today. That's personally something I don't like to see. I, I really don't like seeing when people are just teabagging the ground because, oh, my God, I killed you once. Haha, ha, you're down but not out. You can't get revived. We win this round. Put them out of their misery. Just let the round go on. Is there really anything we can do to necessarily combat that? Maybe if there was like a player review option in the menu as well, kind of like how you can report suspicious behavior, if you can just kind of report that they're being unsportsmanlike, and eventually, you know, steps can be taken to possibly correct that. I don't know exactly what, but that might also be a good option. If someone has having unsportsmanlike behavior and they're being very toxic, and I know toxicity is a very subjective thing, but, you know, if everyone can agree that, well, this guy's just teabagging the ground, uh, he's being a scumbag, blah, blah, blah. You know, you can kind of submit that player review and, you know, go behind your day. Maybe action will be taken, maybe not. I think the main problem is people talking about team killing when they're talking about the toxicity that is the community. Not often am I seeing people um, bitching about, oh, why'd you pick this operator? It's It's not too often that I'm seeing people, you know, complain about operator choices we all have our own preference somebody might be amazing with tachanka but terrible with rook vice versa so i don't think the operator selection is, is as much of a problem anymore but the last thing that you might hear about for toxicity besides team killing or that unsportsmanlike behavior is well i guess it ties into that is trash talking you definitely see it a lot in every single video game if you're playing call of duty you're playing battlefield you're playing rainbow six in hell i'm sure it would even happen in minecraft if someone's just going around team killing people will send you messages people will talk in game chat and they will rip into you calling you names derogatory things your, I slept with your mother is the most common thing because this is Xbox and we kind of birthed that uh, train of thought where every 12-year-old has been with your mom. So that's something you see a lot too, team killing and the trash talking. So how do we combat trash talking? That also comes back into that own sportsmanlike behavior. So if they're doing that, they're trash talking, submit that play review if that was an option in the menu. And if enough people do it and they see it happening enough and if you can have some sort of proof of this, actions can be taken to ensure that they won't be acting like that anymore. Those are just my personal preferences and what I see during this community time. And honestly, like I said, I haven't seen as much toxicity as of yet of recent with team killing. I see it a ton with like teabagging, unsportsmanlike behavior, and, and trash talking. I see that a ton. But is that on par with other communities? I'd say so. I play a lot of Call of Duty in my spare time, and I would play some Rocket League and PUBG and, and games like that. Overwatch, Fortnite, and all those games will have people that not all of them have a game chat, but the ones that do, you can hear a lot of trash talking going on. Some people will send you a message if something happens. Team killing isn't a problem in all of those games, but this game just so happens to have friendly fire on, and I don't think it's something that should, they should take off. I think friendly fire is a, a good thing. It kind of helps build the realism that is the Rainbow Six Siege game. But once more, I think, honestly, there's not too much else we can do to combat toxicity in this game. If you have that player review button, if, if they're being unsportsmanlike and they're exhibiting toxic behavior and having a um, forgive button if they're team killing you by accident and they won't get booted from the game, I think those are some systems that if, if we saw those implemented, I think they would go over very well in the community because it, it proves that they're doing something to kind of combat the toxicity while not just banning people for one team kill. I don't know. What do you guys think about this whole subject? I wanted to get a video out there about this whole toxic community situation because it's, again, the most um, requested, I guess you could say, thing that I hear about. It's, it's definitely the most uh, talked about thing in this community um, in, in terms of the whole scope of everything. Most people are talking about toxicity in that and everyone has dealt with it in one way or another. So once more, uh, what's your opinion on this? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, whatever you want, links are going to be in the description. Thank you guys for sticking around. And I will see you guys next week. Cheerio, mates.